the thing is, I was so against vaping. I was the biggest hater of vaping, as you should be, but it all starts on a night out. You go over to a spa, that spa just happens to have a vape vendor machine, which is crazy. Imagine, my mate buys one, it's like Blue Raz or something. And then suddenly he just doesn't have that flavor anymore. He has a different one. Like, I guess he must have swapped it with somebody in the club. After the nightclub, after everything's done, we're outside waiting for a taxi. Man's bored. Like, you know how it gets on nights out when you're trying to get a taxi back home. Long, it's stress. I just saw him puff for the vape so i was like you know what let me try it while i'm waiting for this taxi why not see what happens i puff it and i'm like it's, it's all right don't really see how people get hyped to this don't really see how people get addicted to this <laughs> famous last words very very famous last words I keep using it. I'm like, oh yeah, I don't really get the hype about it, but I'm still puffing it like crazy. I finished my mate's one and then he gets the original one back that he swapped. Fella had a swap deal and then he got it back. I just end up puffing that too. So I'm like, oh, I just ran through like two vapes right there obviously they were using it throughout the night but like i finished two vapes basically and then next week we went over to a different nightclub and that nightclub also had a vape vendor machine so instead of just scabbing my friends and finishing his i just ended up buying my own and i just puffed the shit out of the thing behind the scenes that really gets everyone grabbed and that really keeps everyone's attention is the nicotine in case you don't know what nicotine is nicotine is an addictive substance it's a stimulant that releases dopamine in your brain and makes you feel Good. Most disposable vapes contain 20 mg or 2% of nicotine per disposable vape. So if you smoke 20 cigarettes, then you've taken in the same amount of nicotine as one disposable vape. <laughs> so I was just getting nicotine buzzed. I was getting the nicotine shakes. Like there was a time where I was with my mate and I was dancing and I was puffing the fuck out of this and like I had to sit down because I was dazed. It's like I got knocked out. It's like I was fucking face temper, bro, against KSI. I was fucking seeing stars, bro. I was just like, oh. I need to sit down. You know, it goes from IVG bar in the nightclub to an elf bar at home. And then there eventually got to a stage where I always had two elf bars on me in case I ran out of one. My main two flavors, right? My main two. I'm treating it like it's a fucking video game. It's my lungs crying for help, literally. <laughs> with just the two main I used to use. I used to use apple peach and banana ice. I used to roll out with them too. That was the gang. Like if you seen me in the middle of last year or the end of last year, I definitely had at least an apple peach on me or a banana ice and if it wasn't that then i was trying out all the flavors because where i go to the gym if you go to the actual shopping center or that there's like a vaping stand and i just tried out all the elf bar flavors from there every flavor you could think of the energy ice which is like red bull banana strawberry raspberry cotton candy grape fucking cola oh man and then there's different types of vapes as well because you have the ivg bar which is chunky you have the elf bar i preferred the elf bar because it was like a stick it's the most similar to like a cigarette like, i used to just bite it and keep it like ting so like i could still move my hands a little there was the lost mary's the absolute small tiny ones I had a couple of them pink lemonade i had double apple i think that's all there was a couple times through the year where i got sick and I'd be like, oh yeah, it's just normal sickness. You know what I mean? But just the common pattern when I was sick, I was coughing a lot <laughs> and my lung just felt like it was gonna come out of my chest. So these were like the two common things every time I get sick throughout the year. And I was like, oh, you know, there's no correlation. There's no way it could be the vapes. There's no way. I was in denial. I recover, I get back on them, get sick again. It was a cycle. I was in the matrix, as Andrew Tate would say. I had to get out of the matrix. I tried, I tried to quit. I remember the first time I tried to quit. It was the 9th of June, 2020. 22 i made a tiktok fuck vapes like my troll feels fucked i feel like ash cash or something in my troll i'm still sick fuck vapes. and then nine days later i made a tiktok making a song pretty much justifying vapes yeah we ain't smoking weed but believe i don't believe we up on our face like bad days to kick it i got it right back bought me enough and i got it myself my room hella cloudy i did it myself i stay being me trying to gather some well but i stack up some bills but it all on myself then for the moment i'm fucking my health Fit for a minute take time to myself like i try to stop try to help on myself i got back in the mix not for nobody else it's really sad looking back at this while editing because you can see that I know I tried to stop but I couldn't stop so I'm making this shit song. It's a shit song by the way. <laughs> I'm trying to justify me getting back on the vapes again. It's just really sad. It was my mate's birthday and I knew they were going to go to the smoking area. I brought my vapes with me.
So I was like, oh guys, I'm gonna quit vaping. I brought it with me. Went to the smoking area and I vaped, you know what I mean? <laughs> How can you say you're gonna quit if you're gonna bring it with you? That's like, hey, I'm gonna quit doing cocaine, but I'll just stuff cocaine in my pocket in case I need it. Like obviously you're gonna end up doing it, you know what I mean? So that was just a dumb decision. So step one, advice to anyone who would also like to join me on this journey of quitting vaping. Don't bring it with you, cause you're gonna end up doing it. It was my mate's birthday. Notice how these are all social events. He went out to go get a box of smokes and then I was just like, damn, like if I had a vape in there, I see a couple of people vaping in the club. If I had a vape in there, it'd be pretty nice. There's one of those clubs that doesn't have a vape vending machine. It also doesn't let you use card for the cloakroom. It doesn't let you use tap. You just have to use cash. Academy, I'm calling you out. Fucking add a card machine to your cloakroom. Let me just tap. Let me just tap the two quid. All these other places that I've mentioned, Opium, Diva, they let you fucking use tap. Don't ask me for two quid change like i don't keep cash on me bro i don't keep coin anyway cough card uh ended up buying one of those salts ones i never bought the salts ones if you replace the amount of vapes i ran through with women that consented and it's respectful of course because we're not disrespectful to women i'd be hugh hefner without the criminal allegations against women i would never do that look them up i would never do that no i got sick again near new year's and i was coughing so much how can i be 20 years old and i'm coughing like i'm 70 coughing like i'm on life support if i've only been doing it a couple months and i'm coughing like this imagine like a year from now imagine like two years from now so now i want to stop you gotta listen to your body the left side of my chest has felt bigger slightly irritated than the right side of my chest for lord knows how many months i was just ignoring it but i knew it was there i was really damaging myself for an eight quid disposable vape like i remember the boys asked me to go out and play football i've always been bad with stamina so imagine being bad with stamina already and then all these vapes that i've been running through i never felt so unfit in my entire life like that is not normal at all to be going gym like i go gym and then to have no stamina to show for it no cardio to show for all that muscle all that show off is so dead man honestly i won't lie just the way i was coughing it was disgusting it was just all phlegmy some of it was blood some of the bits would be hard when i cough it was just grim which i just got so used to the feeling of my nose running you know what i mean like i want to stop now and every time i think about doing it again when i'm at a social event i just need to remind myself hey remember when you were in your bed and you were coughing like you're on a life support machine yeah you should probably not vape again because you'll probably feel that way to be honest i'd be so real with you how nicotine is and how addictive it is if i wasn't coughing and if i felt completely fine i'd probably still be vaping the way i was i was running through like a vape a day so i used to keep all of the vapes i used to finish they're disposable vapes but i wouldn't dispose them i'd keep them in my room i had a collection of them at the time i had like 84 vapes some of them fluctuate in price i got them in inflation prices some of them i get them in a vending machine it'd be like a tenner or something some of them i get them in a the thing it'd be like eight quid i get them for spare sometimes times it'd be nine quid like if we just say eight quid for all these 84 vapes i spent like 672 euro on vapes in those past couple months i could have bought like a fucking a cam link i could have bought a new camera and then plugged it in and then the way you're looking at this webcam that could have been a fucking professional camera that could have been a proper camera because i have a decent camera here which is this is a webcam when you think about it like that it really makes me deep like oh shit you know what i'm saying and like the thing is about vaping or smoking is that it can feel so social when you're in the smoking area and everyone's doing the same thing and these are all just having the chats i swear the chats hit different in the smoking area it's so weird the social aspect kind of makes it hard for you to leave as well you know what i mean you just want to keep doing it i go on the bus and i see kids just puffing the fuck out of this on the back of the bus they're just like it looks a bit mad but like where's me vape any vape Where, where's the vape these kids are already down bad for vapes imagine when they get to my age because imagine they still keep vaping the vaping may not hit the same your nicotine tolerance goes up right so you may be like oh these vapes aren't really hitting the same oh fucking thing guy always gets a box of smokes let me go get a box of smokes so you go from vaping to a box of smokes and then from a box of smokes you may lead on to something else you know what i mean it can get worse for sure it can level up so don't do it and if you do it try stop <sighs> oh, well it's a lot easier said than done <laughs> fuck it was another night out are you surprised are you surprised are you surprised ah uh, uh, there's no excuse you know what i mean i made this whole video telling you all that stuff and that's facts and still even though i know it's all facts i still got one anyway 
You know what I mean? Got into the academy again because my mate who used to work there got me in for free. And it felt like a crossover episode as well because this guy, he went to my school. So I've known him for a long time. Shout out Killian, my guy, you know the love. And what do you know? Who taps me on the shoulder? Man like Philip. I know Philip from work. And he was there with all his boys. Shout out Victor. Shout out Darren. Shout out Flinner. All the boys. Literally felt like the iCarly collab, but it was my school life or my work life. It's crazy. Like, <laughs> But Tommy, you said there was no vape vending machine in the academy. So how did you get a vape in there? Then? Well, Tommy, I may have bought two vapes from Centra before going over to Killian's house for pre-drinks before academy. And what was one of the things I told you guys in this video? So step one, advice to anyone who would also like to join me on this journey of quitting vaping. Don't bring it with you because you're going to end up doing it. So you can take what I said from the nine minutes, eight minutes of this whole video back then. And then you can keep that in mind. And then you can look at me and be like, even though he edited this whole video and he created this whole video and he talked about all these things and the coffin and everything, he still vapes. So don't vape or you may end up as addicted as me.